Hey guys, how's it going? It's Gav, Gav, like Gavi Joe. Welcome to Gavi Joe Gaming. It's been a long time. I hear you say it's been a long time. Uh, what have you been doing, Gav? I've been busy, man. <laughs> well, I've just been working. Uh, I've changed jobs recently. Loving it. Loving it. Really good job. Um, just on my lunch at the minute, and I was like, man, I haven't uploaded anything in a while. Uh, and there's all these hundreds of fans, obviously, wanting to know what I'm doing with my life. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> anyway, uh, it's me, I'm back, uh, but started doing some more videos, um, you know, 40k, uh, I've just, just changed a few things, I've changed a few things, uh, I don't like towel anymore, uh, I've sold literally all my towel, um, so I just bored, it's just shooting, just shooting, shooting, and anyone comes near me, I'll run away, um, yeah, so just bored of them, uh, so I won't be playing towel anymore. I enjoyed it while, you know, for the six months or whatever I played them, but it's not I missed. I missed charging up the boards and seeing people really scared at how the Death Company are moving that quickly with Fall on Fury <laughs> towards them. Um, so, yeah, I played, uh, there was a tournament at Tabletop, Tub uh, uh, Tabletop Republic. Check the link down below. At the weekend, 2,000 points. It was really good. There was 20, 21 people there. Uh, and I came 20th, uh, <laughs> went one and four, but I, I you know, in my defense, uh, there was some really good players there. And Tao finished first. Uh, I think they went five and oh. Uh, second was Imperial Knights. Third was Nids, I think. Um, so um, my five games were Knights, Knights, Aldari, Aldari, uh, and then a really good last game uh, of Netcons. Uh, with Leo, really good guy, really good guy, really good game. Um, so yeah, uh, this is the list I took, and you know what? Um, I, it was close on two of the games that I lost. Um, so it wasn't like I got whitewashed. I got absolutely smashed on one of the games, but the other four I would say were tight. They were between thirty points, which I think for Blood Angels is good. This is the list I took. Um, and I'll tell you what I would change. So, I got uh, Astaroth as my Warlord. Mantra of Strength is ridiculous. 140 points for a 4 damage weapon. Mad. Uh, Mephistum. Uh, and Dante, who obviously just whacks out those attacks um, for 1 damage against uh, Duty Eternal enemies, which is great. 2 Squads of Assault Intercessors for the amount of attacks they've got. Heavy Intercessors to sit on a point. Aggressors again just to get in there and start beefing stuff up. Blade Guard doing the same. Death Company charging up there. With them to Dreadnought just as a big thing to stick down. Sand Guard to charge up there. Who have now obviously got their nice points drop, which is great. Uh, and my big boys, who actually did great. Uh, really impressed with them this tournament. They normally fluff everything, um, but did really good. Here are the MVPs. Eliminator Squad, I'm telling you. 75 points, 0 points now for Las Fusil. Don't know if it's like a, a French sniper rifle or something, but that's AP minus 3, strength 8, 3, flat 3 damage, hitting on a 2. Eradicators, obviously, and then my little Storm Speeder uh, scout thing to get me engaged. <laughs> um, that was my list. Um, yeah, it was... Uh, yeah, it was, it was a good good tournament, good tournament, lots of stuff going on. Um, what things would I change out of this list? Mephiston's got to go, man. He's got to go. He's just not good. He's just not good. Librarian Dreadnought for 10 points more I'm taking now instead um, in my league. I'm going back to Blood Angels for the league. Um, yeah, Dante... I think needs, for his points, his damage, yeah, he's got, you know, base seven attacks, basically, because he's got six, Shock Assault is one, and then when Savage Echo kicks in, or if you've got the Sand Priest, get, um, get turn three, basically, uh, the Assault Doctrine, constantly, then you've got eight attacks, which is a lot. Damage two, you know, against Death Guard, it's not doing a lot, not doing a lot. Mephiston's D3 weapon is not good man not good you know he's wounding on twos but i 
just, yeah, it just, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm playing him wrong. Just, man, he's not lasting. Everyone goes for him. He, he died first every game. Um, just, yeah, just, yeah, I don't know. Dev Company were great, as always. Sangard were really good. People were really scared of them. These dudes killed it. Killed it. They've got plus one um, save on top of their cover save when they're in cover. So you've basically got a one-up save. Um, it took a lot of people were quite surprised by them. Um, I had one of them last until turn four with constant shots going at him because I put him in a second floor. Bottom room was closed. Second floor, so they got the cover. Bang, 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 just shooting out. Obviously against Knights it was great. Um, helped out a lot there just on the damage side and bring it down. But yeah, that was uh, that was a tournament. That was... Uh, that was it, yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to, to the 1,000 points league again. Get playing with Blood Angels. Um, um, yeah, done with Tau. Tau are done. So I've got Blood Angels, got Death Guard. I've got my lovely sisters. And uh, I'm trialling. Uh, I don't know. Henry Cavill said these dudes were good. Trial them out. See what they say. Anyway, guys. Thanks again for the people that are watching my stuff uh, and have stuck with the channel. Um, I need to get a table, do some battle report. Um, but I'm going to try to do one soon. Anyway, guys, take care of yourselves. It's a tough world out there, but keep positive. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Oh, like and subscribe. Did I say that? I don't know. Anyway, like and subscribe.